everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Danny, and today is Thursday, the 13th of July. So, uh, welcome to July if you have not been previously watching this channel, and welcome to this channel. Um, today is going to be a workout video, and specifically, it is a kettlebell and oh, that sounds much better now that Charlie's off. Uh, it's our little vacuum cleaner. So today's workout is a kettlebell glute focused workout. So I know for a lot of you, you are limited on equipment and you're doing these workouts from home or maybe an apartment gym and you're just limited on equipment. So I wanted to make sure that I shared with you guys a really good workout. Uh, my glutes are really sore from doing this uh, yesterday. So I know that you're going to find it effective and it is going to help you in your success on your fitness journey. So. I'm super excited to share this video with you and I'm super excited for tomorrow's video um, because I have a big announcement to make and I'm just very excited to share with you why I'm so excited. So let's hop into the video and get to it. Welcome back to Fitness Empowerment by Danny, a brand dedicated to flexible nutrition, macronutrient tracking, and a lifestyle without unhealthy extremes. Hey everyone, again, welcome to this workout and voiceover commentary. Today, this workout is focused on all exercises, not all the exercises, but a group of five exercises that you can use kettlebells with. That way, if you are limited on equipment, you can still get a really good glute or leg workout in. So this first exercise I started off, this is just to warm up. I used a, I think it was a 15 pound kettlebell and I just did these kettlebell squats um, with the swing. I did four sets of 15, nothing crazy, um, but I want you guys to focus in on my form. Notice that in every exercise I show you today, I'm gonna start with good form, whether it's a slight bend in the knees, a tight arch, my chest up, my shoulders back. Notice how I get into each exercise position and pick up the weight properly, and then how I put the weight down. I've kind of left the transitions here so that you can really focus on where my form is. Um, this is just a sumo squat with the kettlebell or kettlebell squat, but I've got a wide stance and my feet, my toes are pointed slightly outward. Um, the next exercise I did was a three pulse lunge walk. So every time I went into a lunge, I pulsed three times before I stood up and took the next step with the kettlebells. So super good exercises. The more, the slower you go, the more you're gonna feel that burn in the pulse section at the bottom. So give those a shot if you haven't done them before. It really takes lunge walks to the next level. Okay, and the next two exercises I did were a combination step up exercise. If you don't have a platform, don't worry about it. You can do this exercise without the platform, but essentially you step backwards into a lunge and then forward into a step up or knee raise. And in addition to the kettlebells, if you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, you can always put on or around your ankles. That way the step up is a little bit more, a little bit more difficult. Again, you can use dumbbells for this. You don't have to use kettlebells. You can use no weight. If you are at a level where you're not ready to use weight and you are challenged enough by no weight with this, it is definitely a balancing exercise as well. Now this one is fairly similar, but instead of doing a knee raise when you step up, I'm doing a glute kickback when I do the step up. So it's a squeeze in the glute. Again, if you throw on some ankle weights, you're gonna get a little bit more glute burn. It's gonna be a little bit tougher. So if you're ready to take that next step and challenge yourself a little bit, go ahead and, and get some ankle weights. I mean, you can pick up a set of ankle weights from like Target, Walmart, um, like TJ Maxx, Ross, Marshalls. They always have very inexpensive ankle weights, wrist weights, bands, whatever. They have usually a decent section. But this exercise was awesome. And I'm telling y'all like much. I think I was holding a 30 pound kettlebell and my glutes are burning today. They're, they're sore. <laughs> this last exercise I did is the curtsy lunge. And so you can see I'm kind of just doing a little curtsy there. But again, look at the form. That's the important piece here. Shoulders back, chest up, and and always focusing on the form, whether it's picking up the weight, putting it down, or in the middle of the exercise. That's it for today, you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this workout. Take care. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching the video. I certainly hope that you enjoyed this glute workout because it was all about the kettlebells, all about using the equipment that you have, whether you have dumbbells or kettlebells, 
all these exercises are interchangeable with those specific uh, tools. So I hope you got something out of that. Comment down below if you do this workout and let me know how you felt and whether you were sore afterwards or not. And make sure that if you're new, please consider subscribing. I do have an announcement that I'm gonna make tomorrow in that video. So make sure, well, if you subscribe, then you'll get the notification for when it is uploaded to YouTube so that you don't miss out. And other than that, if you enjoyed this and you feel like you know somebody that would really benefit from this video and this workout, then please go ahead, give the video a thumbs up and share it with that person. And that is all I have for you guys today. See ya. Be empowered to make a change in your life and take the next step on your health and fitness journey.